if done right, you can engage them with emotion. You can influence their behavior and you can let them see the true possibilities that can transform their life. You hear it everywhere that our attention spans are getting shorter. There's so much information out there, right? And not enough time in the day to hear it all. We want fast answers to how our problems can be solved and our lives can be better. I want to know right now. Just give it to me straight and fast. Am I right? Don't you don't you feel that? Like, I don't have time for all this. Just give me the goods right away. So all this means is that when you're marketing and selling, your work feels a lot harder. It's like you have this shorter amount of time. So you think, well, shouldn't that be easier? I don't have to like do this whole long thing about why somebody should pay attention to me. No, it's actually harder because you have to make sure that you get their attention in a short amount of time, but it doesn't have to be so hard. This is why getting someone pulled into your value and really understanding your value is super powerful and straight up effective at increasing your sales. So why is this? Because if done right, you can engage them with emotion. You can influence their behavior and you can let them see the true possibilities that can transform their life. So let's talk about what you can do to make what you're selling seem irresistible and increase that perceived value. The most important part here is what it means when I say value, and I'm not referring to price. I'm referring to what it is that you do that transforms your customer's life, that makes them feel, wow, my life has changed for the better. And transform seems like a really big word, like, oh my gosh, that's a big promise. That's a lot of pressure. Like, do do I have to make them lose 50 pounds in a week or do, do I have to make fix their marriage by tomorrow or make them rich within 10 days? I mean, isn't that what people expect when you say transformation? Sure. The problem of weight or self-esteem, struggling relationships, being broke, financial problems, those are all situations that the people struggling with would love to be transformed. They definitely want to be on the other side of that and and feel like they've got that under control and feel great and, and confident and like abundant, but you don't have to go that big right away in your first offer. You don't have to do that, but you can make them visualize that transformation and get them to see that if they stick with you, that transformation will happen. You can do this. (laughs) Remember people get overwhelmed easily. So to tell them, Hey, I can take you from broke to rich and it's going to take 12 months of really hard work. And here's the outline and you got to do this step and that step. Oh boy. It already sounds so hard. And as much as people will say they're willing to do the hard work, people really do want fast results, but fast results don't mean that they have to be at that end. Fast results mean that they want that feeling. What they really want is the feeling of that transformation. And that is what is key. It's the feeling of inspiration that gets people pumped up because now they see themselves in the transformation. They see where they can end up. So your job in showing them the value is to show them what it feels like to be in the after, even if they're not there yet. So if before the feeling is heavy, sluggish, unhealthy, feeling gross and just no confidence, no self-esteem. Well, the after then is feeling vibrant and clear-headed, motivated, inspired, and confident. So if that's the before and after, and you want them to feel the after, what can you do to get them to feel the after, even if they're not there yet? See, if you can do that, then you eliminate price objection so much and you increase the perceived value. You want them to be in a place of, I must have that. And by the way, as always, deliver what you promise. As I go into all of this, just remember that when you do offer something, deliver what you promise, deliver what you say that offer is. I'm going to assume that you do that for the sake of this this episode. 
So I'm not at all talking about faking your value when I say increase your perceived value. But so often what happens is that we focus on features and benefits that we hide the real value of what we offer. And so it is perceived to not be as valuable as it is. And we forget the most important part, which is getting them to have that transformation feeling, that after feeling. So I want to I want to tell you a story about a client who was struggling with marketing. And this was a guy who sold financial planning. That was his business. And he was really good at it. But he was struggling to stand out from his competition. And a lot of his business was coming from referrals, which was really great. And it was great because his clients were having experiences that were awesome and and results that were so great. And, And they were all having that transformational feeling. And so they would tell others about it. And there was his referred business, which is a great way to get business always. But in terms of marketing beyond referrals, he was finding it tough to land new accounts from people that didn't know who he was or were just introduced to him, not because of a referral. So I asked him, well, what happens when someone comes to you? What are, what are they asking and what's the biggest objection they have? And he said, well, they always ask what it's going to cost them right off the bat. What, what does this investment mean for them? And the worry that they have is that they don't want to get taken advantage of. And I asked him how he responded. And he said he gave them the pricing. And then he talked about their process, what he would need from them in order to get everything started and to be assured that working with his team was going to be a great experience. Okay. Not bad, but there were two things I heard when he said this. And the first one was they're asking about pricing right away because they've already made that their determining factor, which means they haven't even felt that you understood their pain point. And they don't even know that there is a transformation involved in this at all. They don't know what that feeling is. I mean, this is boring finances, right? How transformational can it be? It's mostly transactional. Okay, well, that's what he thought but that's not true. So that leads to the second thing that I heard, which is they don't want to get taken advantage of. See, there's a problem right there. It's their money and they may have been duped before. So they're feeling nervous that they don't want to get into a situation where they feel insecure. So then I said to him, okay, let's go deeper. You're getting a lot of referral business, right? Why do you think that is? He said, well, because of their experience. Well, what is that? I asked him. And he said, well, they come into it and they're surprised at how easy it is for us to get all of their information. They assumed it was going to be this daunting paperwork and we've actually made it really easy for them. They also get really great results. And most of all, they say that they feel really taken care of and they no longer have to have this cloud of wondering if they are investing and planning the right way or not. And then I just kind of like paused and and looked at him and I was like, that's a whole lot of value right there, wouldn't you say? And then he was kind of like, oh, yeah. And I was like, look, testimonials are one of my favorite ways to market because what better way than to have someone else tell your brand story of success and you're the cause of it. So this person has success and you're the reason behind it. I mean, what better way? You, you, because you don't even have to talk about yourself. You've got somebody else talking about you. And that is always a brilliant form of marketing because people pay attention, right? When it's somebody else telling that story. But I asked, how can you use that at the front end of your marketing so that people can see and feel the transformation that they'll have when coming to work with your firm? And then the light bulb started to go off. If you're listening to this podcast, I'm guessing you fall into one of these categories. You're an entrepreneur, a small business owner, an online marketer, or maybe an agency owner. I'm also guessing that you want new leads who are excited to buy from you. Am I right? Would you be excited to generate five new leads a day? 10, a hundred, maybe even hundreds. Do you even know where to begin to do that? Well, I can tell you this. It doesn't begin with wishing and waiting, but it does begin with a successful lead funnel. 
If you want to have an endless stream of hot leads coming into your pipeline, you'll want to check out the five day lead challenge where you'll learn step by step the high level strategy to generate leads on demand for your specific business. You'll learn how to build your lead magnet that attracts these leads to you in the coolest way I've seen yet. You'll also learn how to take these people and then turn them into your dream leads. You'll also learn how to follow up with them and how to launch this funnel without having to spend any money. Sounds pretty cool, right? Can I make it even cooler? Okay, here it goes. It's all free, all free. Yes, you can learn all of this for free. So if you're ready to get access to this free five-day challenge, head over to thedrawshop.com forward slash five-day. Thedrawshop.com forward slash the number five and day. See there. So here's the thing. It doesn't have to be your story that you're telling because even better are the stories of your customers. When people see somebody else's transformation, they immediately place themselves in their shoes and think, I want that too. I could be in that same place too. And then suddenly that perceived value just increased tenfold or more. So think about the ways that you can increase the perceived value of your services or products that make them want to take action right away. So let me give you some ideas. Some ideas of how you can do this is showing examples of a return on investment. If they're going to be investing money with you and you can show them results that it's gotten for your clients, they will see and feel that transformation and that it can be theirs too. That's what's so important. You can also show them the new freedom that they'll have because of the time you're going to save them. Give them that after feeling of spending more time on the tennis courts or golf or whatever it is that they love to do. Spending time with family, their kids, their their partner. Those are all things that people go, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. If I, if I could be done with work at this time each day and have more free time, that's a transformational feeling to feel themselves in that position. So what are the different ways your product, your service, whatever it is that you offer brings a transformation to that person. I know, I know there's ways, and I know that you probably have testimonials of things that people have said to you when they're so excited about what you've given them. That is a transformation. That is just a feeling that you can allow anybody to feel, even if they haven't worked with you yet. We want to get them to just picture themselves there and then be eager to get there. So now going back to making it not feel overwhelming and that they can actually be on their way to that transformational feeling in just moments, here are some ideas to get them to take action now that doesn't feel overwhelming because some of these things are like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to do all this work or if you're coaching someone, they might think, oh my gosh, it's going to take months. This is a, this is a three month or a four month or a year long program. It's going to take that long for me to get there. Remember it's getting them to that feeling right away. It's kind of like when you're on a health kick and you might have a goal of I'm going to lose 10 pounds, right? But when you lose that first pound, you've got that feeling. You've got that motivation. You're like, oh my gosh, I can see the finish line. And then you lose another and another or whatever that is for you. If it's something that just makes you feel healthy, I've eliminated sugar and I just feel slightly better this next day. And then the next day, my brain is more clear. Those little things are the little feelings, the little tiny steps that lead to the bigger thing. So what can you do to give them that little bit of feeling, that little bit of that step that they can take that brings them closer to the big transformational feeling? So for the financial planner, maybe he's giving a super simple financial saving tip that that person can start on today, that same day that's going to help ensure that they will have an emergency fund in a certain amount of time. But today, putting away that $5 or whatever it is makes them feel like they're on that path. It gives them that feeling of, okay, I'm going to get there and I'm going to have everything in place. My, my ducks in a row, all of that good stuff. It's that feeling of I'm doing the right thing. Maybe for the weight loss coach, it's a three-day free jumpstart guide to feeling super energetic by 
eliminating this one food. Or if you're a social media marketer, maybe it's a free 30-day calendar with your posts mapped out for you. And it's like, oh my gosh, you just took all of that off of my plate. Now this is going to be so much easier. All of these things feel like action in the right direction, which is valuable, and it leads them to their transformation. Does that make sense? So what is it that you can do? What's like a little needle mover that you can offer that allows them to feel that transformation? And by the way, is really getting them to trust you so much because you've given them that feeling. They're now associating that feeling with you. So questions to ask yourself as you raise your perceived value are, why do your customers come back to you? Why do they refer you? What problems did you solve for them? And what would make this risk free for them? Like, What can you give them for free to gain that trust and invoke that feeling of transformation? And what results are your clients seeing that make your offer irresistible, and then share those stories. Did you get those? Should I repeat them? There are five questions. One, why do your customers come back to you? What are the reasons they keep coming back? The ones that do, why are they coming back? Two, why do they refer you? Why are they telling other people about you? Hone in on those reasons. There's probably a common theme there. Three, what problem did you solve for them? What's the big problem? What's that big thing that was daunting that you solved for them? Four, what would make this risk-free for them? There's no risk here. If you give them something free, there's no risk for them. And what you're doing is giving them trust and you're invoking that feeling of transformation. So what would make this risk-free for them? And five, what results are your clients seeing that make your offer irresistible? Your clients are telling stories. It makes other people see it and go, I definitely, I've got to have it because I want the results that she had. Get it? So those are five really important questions that are going to get your brain turning. And then you're going to go, oh, okay. I totally get my value. These are the things I need to insert into my marketing and definitely create something that is a very small barrier to entry and potentially totally risk-free where they don't have to give any money or some type of a guarantee. But I really prefer that first risk-free something, whether it's a consultation, whether it's a free guide, something that gives them that value and an inch closer to that feeling of transformation. I believe it was W. Clement Stone who said it best, which is little hinges swing big doors. And these episodes are little hinges, but when implemented, swing really big doors. So what little hinge can you give to your prospects to swing big doors? Real quick before I go, have you left me a rating and a review yet? I want to make sure that I keep bringing you more of the topics you want to hear. So will you do me a favor and head on over to wherever you're listening on this podcast and let me know what you thought about this episode. Just scroll to the bottom, click on how many stars, five would be amazing, and then click write a review. Oh, and when you do you'll be entered to win a $500 gift card to the draw shop that I will choose on the first Monday of every month.